Greetings, brothers and sisters, family and friends. I'm your minister of wellness. In today's wellness segment, why are you eating crawfish? Here we go again, brothers and sisters. Why are we eating crawfish? You all know how I'm going to start this off with. Crawfish is pretty much similar to a lobster. A lobster is a bottom feeder of the sea. God designed them for a specific purpose to make sure that the sea stays cleaned up. That's their purpose. And we're not supposed to eat them. We're supposed to let them do their job. We don't eat all plants. And so we should not eat anything that moves and breathes just because we feel like it. When we violate the laws of nature that God created, there are consequences to pay for. The health instructions are meant to protect us. Okay, why are we so hard headed? Well, because we want to do what we want to do, even if it's to our own destruction. And it will be to our own destruction. Make no mistake about it. It will be. You can sit there and mock me and laugh at me and troll me in the comment section all you want. But let me tell you something for those of you all who have eyes to see and ears to hear. I'm telling you, there is a way that we must eat and live. And if we violate the way that we're supposed to be eating to live, there will be hell to pay. It'll be hell to pay in our lives, in our health, in the health and lives of our children. And my job is for you to avoid that. I don't know what in the world is going on in the deep south, in some parts, not all parts, some parts of the deep south where it's just this belief system that, it, you know, if it moves, just kill it and eat it. I don't understand this. I mean, I mean, for crying out loud, I heard you all barbecue roaches down there. I mean, come on, brothers and sisters. So again, it's a bottom feeder. It's, it's, it's not food, just like a vulture isn't food. Or is that food, the guts of a vulture? You know, we all gonna die anyway. You don't say that if somebody break in your home, we all gonna die anyway. Somebody break in your home, you pull out that shotgun so fast, wouldn't you? Why? You're gonna die anyway, so what you protecting yourself for? See the logic in that? We don't apply logic to our food choices because food addiction makes you illogical. That's how you know you're a food addict, when you make up all these insane reasons. Now, how do you overcome your food addiction, the things that you know you shouldn't be eating, like crawfish? I mean, come on. But well, you, you overcome it by going by with a lot of knowledge. Go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, The Minister of Wellness. I have a free 12-part series. There's actually 14 videos in it on food addiction. And I go over all the 12 components of food addiction that will motivate you to help you to break free. So go subscribe and start learning. And I promise you, I can help to set you free. Besides being a bottom feeder, there are always going to be three issues with eating any type of meat. Okay. It, 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 of course, it's not food. It's not food. Crawfish is not food. It's something you're putting in your mouth, but it's not food for humans. However, since you're putting it in your mouth, of course, you have to be aware of all of the, the, the diseases, the special diseases and viruses that comes from eating animals we have no business eating. OK, so we have shellfish poisoning and it's no joke. Eighty thousand people become ill. One hundred die after becoming infected with Vibrio. That's a type of bacteria sometimes found in shellfish. Numerous studies have also found high levels of mercury and other toxic chemicals which have been linked to cancer, nervous system disorders in fish flesh. OK, so you already have to worry about that. Then the saturated fat clogs the arteries, clogs the heart. Number one cause of death in black folk once, of course, make it out of the womb. And that's heart disease, high blood pressure. Crawfish are caused that. Then the cholesterol. That's always the second issue. You don't want your cholesterol to be high. That's the second issue. And then the third one, and the, maybe the most important, is the insulin-like growth factor one, that animal protein raises that hormone. If it stays elevated in your bloodstream, you'll have can cancer, prostate or breast. Make sure you join my Facebook group, I Can Be Healthy, I Will Be Healthy, I Must Be Healthy. You can also find me on all social media platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter. All you have to do is search for The Minister of Wellness. Again, brothers and sisters, keep those three things in mind when it comes to eating any type of animal fat. So it's always four issues to consider with the animal. First of all, is this something that God has designed for human beings to eat? If not, it's a no-go, it's not food. A lot of destruction spiritually will come your way when we violate his direct instructions on how to care for our temples. Then you have the saturated fat, the cholesterol, 
the sodium content and then the, the inherent viruses in these animals. And then also we have, of course, the insulin-like growth factor one. There's a host of factors to consider. Go to the ministerofwellness.com, ministerofwellness.com, our online store, books, DVDs, high quality supplements. Don't forget your organic sea moss and your astragalus. Don't wait until the masses start panicking later this year. Stock up on what you need now to get healthy. The ministerofwellness.com, 888-847-8026. You need help placing an order. Any questions, comments, or concerns, 888-847-8026. That's the same number to call to book a wellness consultation, 888 888- 847-8026. Eat your G-bombs, greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds, the medicine foods of God. Thank you.